I'm always suspicious of our next guest. Let me remind, let me remind you why. The skunk prank, he's, you're going to see him in a second, but I, it's been seen by hundreds of thousands of people around the world. Oh, bud, you were on fire that day. Oh, I Nearly was terrified that day. No skunks this visit, but Kip Smith has brought in some other fascinating creatures from wildlife encounters. <laughs> Good morning, Kip. How you doing, Kip? Hi. I'm good. Who was you bringing in today? I love this guy. <laughs> he is on fire right now. Oh, yeah. He's going to destroy it. You're going to need a new set again <laughs> oh, after we this. Just, <laughs> we just built this one. <laughs> yeah. No. Tell us about uh, him. This is Walter. Walter is an olive baboon. He is a little furball tornado. He is <laughs> destroying everything all morning. Well, <laughs> let me tell you what Walter gets today. He just kicked into high gear all of a sudden like he knew the cameras were on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like he was Put on a show. He's basically just a little, uh -huh. look a little what, toddler. Look he what destroys we, everything. And look what we, oh yeah, he's been there. He goes. He's been trying to get at those. Look what we have. We have some uh, nuts gourmet. Come over here, Walter. I got a couple nuts. I will he eat nuts? Yeah, he'll eat those. Come hey, here, Walter. Walter. Come here, buddy. Um, he. <laughs> <laughs> come here, Walter. <laughs> how, how old is he, Kip? He's right about now? 12 weeks. And how did you come to bring him to Wildlife Encounters? What was his story? Uh, he, we're actually just babysitting this guy. Oh, okay. uh, so we only have him probably watch. We're kind of just monkey Walter, sitting look. until about September, October. And then his, where will he care, go? His caretaker's <laughs> in Missouri. He's out of town for a while. Here. So they're at a licensed uh, facility. So we're just watching is the guy. Is that popcorn he's uh -huh. for him? And we thought this would be a good, <laughs> a good I'm opportunity, stuff so a good a opportunity for uh, oh. him to kind of get socialized with some new people and things like that. So uh -huh. this way, when he goes back to a zoo, he's used to humans. He's totally fine. Mm -hmm. How Everybody. old but, um, can he get before you can really? Can't handle him anymore before um, he becomes dangerous. Each one's a little different. Enough, yeah. yeah, right now you know he's he's a hey, cute Walter, little guy, but he, these guys will get 80 pounds, 60, 70 pounds. Can I pick him up? Uh, he won't let you pick him up. I can. You can. Maybe you can. Can I hold him? Like, can, I, you, I feel like I need to be friends here. with him. Hey, nope, I've got, I have one of his other favorite treats. Here, it's a little cheese stick. Put this in your hand. Oh, okay. And he'll come over to keep it, keep it open, Mike. We don't need a repeat of yes. the lemur. <laughs> come here, Walter. Look what I got, buddy. And these Good. animals, I, I saw on Facebook, he was playing with an iPad. Yes, we have a bunch of games for him on iPads. Uh, yeah. Just kind of like little you infant games iPad? where he puts shapes into shapes, uh, sounds for animal sounds. How, how intelligent are these animals? Put put that they, in context for us if you can. They're pretty intelligent. Um, for human oh, beings. Oh, <laughs> there goes all the puffs. Yeah, there goes. We just spilled the puffs. <laughs> for human beings, uh, they're seeing probably like, uh, you know, like infant human beings. Uh, they get very smart. They're very good at problem solving. Uh -huh. It actually causes problems for these guys in the wild. Uh, in Africa, they've learned that people are growing agricultural products and farms, so you'll see huge groups of baboons, two, three hundred baboons. Really? They, they rush fields, they steal the farmer's crops, and it's causing big problems for them. <laughs> but that <laughs> intelligence allows them to be able to survive a lot of different habitats. These guys can live in savannas, desert-like environments, cliff environments, outskirts of rainforest, so they're very, very smart animals. And they how, eat, how big did you say he'd get? He'd be, it's about 60, 70 pounds 70 is usually the max for these guys. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Look at his face. His face could stop traffic. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that guy. It's kind of one of those really cute faces, but he kind of looks like an old man. So well, the nose is really cute. Yeah. Yeah, the nose. Yeah. His eyes are so bright, and you see the, you can see the curiosity in oh, his yeah. face. Oh, you yeah. Know? The intelligence for these guys, is just, it's just absolutely amazing. I just and they get it. into everything because they're so curious. Yeah. Uh -huh. He rips everything apart. So one of the, the points that we've made about other animals you brought us before, where people see him and they think, oh, he's so cute. I want one. <laughs> As a pet, yeah. this is a non -starter. No, you have to be crazy to have a monkey as a pet. Mm -hmm. um, he's cute right now, like what we're seeing on TV. This is as good as it gets. Uh, this is the best behavior you're ever going to see. Right. Your property will be before trashed. Before this, yeah. Right. He, I mean, they, they get take into, Like you said, everything. they're so curious. They get yeah. into everything. You know, people have to baby-proof a home. You have to mm -hmm. monkey-proof a home. Yeah. It's They will take out markers, draw on walls. They rip everything apart. Uh, they chew up everything. Before this, we were here for, you know, 45 minutes just letting him play. Just getting and him ready. And he was ripping right. the tables apart. He breaks cell phones. He does whatever he possibly can do. Well, I don't he will destroy it. Walter to go away, but we have some other animals, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. He, does he have to go away, or can uh, he stay? He could probably stay. You, you think? think? So? Or no? Oh, Stacy yeah. says. No. Stacy yeah, says no. that's a bad idea. Well, Stacy, come on in. Here. Oh, give him a bottle. You'll here. see Stacy you and Kip Senior popping in and oh, out. Maybe I, at some can point. Can I feed him? Yeah, you can feed oh, him. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey Walter, look. Want right, a bottle? Want a bottle? No. Oh. oh, yeah, there you go. His mouth. Do I need to bring him over he's here? Like uh, you can just, just tip it up. He has these little he's got, falling he out has of his mouth where tons of like, food <laughs> stuck in his mouth, so he's trying to decide well, if he should eat those or if he should go for the bottle. He just doesn't know. <laughs> no, he's not because it wants the bottle. Okay, Stacy, do you want to grab him? Kip, what are we going to meet? Come here, Walter. Who are we going to meet next? This is a kookaburra. Come here, bud. Can I go? Impale the poor guy on my shoe. There you go. Thank you, Stacy. This is a kookaburra. Yes. This is. Watch your step. This is a kookaburra. This is a really cool bird. Uh huh. These are one everyone knows. Everyone knows the name kookaburra, but a lot of kids don't actually know what these animals look like. 
And so what's the deal with the kookaburra? Give us the They're real famous for their call. They make this really unique call. It's really loud. If you can roll your R's really loud, I, I'll try it, but I'm really bad at it. It kind of sounds like... Or... Kip, that nope. was terrible. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. That was horrible. I mean, <laughs> that was can you try? Yeah, I, I can't yeah. do it. I'm horrible at it. Yeah. Mike, why don't you do it? Because you were giving it a go before the break. Yeah, what did I say? I, well, I gave you a reba was the word. A reba. No. <laughs> Yes, that's cool. Oh my, that's magnificent. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? That's great. Oh yeah, and it's super loud. He does that on command. I just <laughs> <can't>. <laughs> you just wind him up. Oh yeah, he does that's that. Great. He'll he'll do it all day long. Oh. So really where does where where is his natural in what Australia. countries? Okay. Yep, you're gonna find these are native to the continent of Australia. Uh, they have that huge beak. It's not uh -huh. sharp at all. Actually, put your is finger. Is this a, out. a, a female? Kip, no, or a male? Kip, I'm not doing it. You tell <laughs> no. me to do. Heck no. Yeah, it's really you gotta real. be kidding me. They're a bird of prey. Hey Mike, put so that your finger beak. in his beak. <laughs> yeah, okay. If you move your finger around, he'll try to catch it, or he tries to catch this. These guys catch. Kip, why don't you put your finger in front of his I, beak? I'll show you. See, if he does it. No, he doesn't care today. Hey, bud. But if Mike nope. did <laughs> yeah, clamp just down try. on it, you <laughs> are is going to Is he a, a male or a female? Because you uh, This is a female. Uh, do the you males have to move your finger around colors? like a snake. Kim. No, he's not going to do it. But it's really cool no, how these guys the hunt. Right. The he uses That's his best. beak. He flies down. He grabs a snake by the tail. He whips the snake up in the air, and he hits the snake's head on a rock to kill it. So they don't have a strong beak. It's not sharp. They have to use blunt force That's what, so to kill it. Well, he's not going to hurt your hand. but he's going to pick me up and slam me down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what else so, did you bring in? <laughs> uh, we brought a tegu as well. Oh. But oh. we don't want these two guys oh. at the same time. No. Right, I, can, I, can, I can see why. Yeah. Let's prevent this. <laughs> or I guess so we this can. Guy. This guy. Yeah. There you go. Hey, oh, yo. look at that tongue. We need to you, move some you, stuff you off of here. so many things. Now, yeah, this is a black and white tegu, oh. an Argentine tegu. Am this I, guy, you don't want to put your it, finger in front of his mouth. Well, that will hurt. Can can I, I, just uh, oh, yeah, I can help you. Thanks, kid. Tongue, or what is he doing yeah, with Yeah, he's tongue? smelling. He's sticking his tongue out. He's smelling. He's picking yep. up chemicals in the hey. air. Uh, he's just trying to see what's going he on around him. The tongue is... He can smell a direction. He and looks the tongue, intense. The they are. They're really cool animals. It's like a fork it's, tongue. Yeah, it is. So he can smell a direction. So he has a left side and a right side. So he brings that tongue back into his mouth, and he can smell the direction How of the scent. How long is his tongue? Um, you know? I don't know. Maybe... Let's not find out. It's, Here, I thought right maybe you... It's actually really cool. If you stay really still, he'll lick you. No, stop. No? Okay. Get out. If you think for one second that's just See. No. <laughs> Did, you feel that? Did you feel that? Yes. So he sticks that tongue out and he's just smelling. He's not gonna hurt you. This is a really nice tegu. These guys are I'm sweating. <laughs> Every time you come like, on the really, show, I break out in a hot was, sweat. It was Mr. Congeniality. He's the nice one. Don't worry. Oh. But, what is his story in the wild, Kip? Uh, these guys come from Argentina, so right in the south part of South America. Uh -huh. uh, they're invasive to Florida right now. People get these as pets. Sometimes they release them, and they're sometimes they get big. It messes guy's, with the ecosystem. Uh, it does, yeah. They're, actually, they're eating a lot of cats. Uh, oh. so people's, Cats. So it in, eats cats. Yes, eat uh, cats. in the wild. Usually these guys Can eat mice. Can we get mice. Walter out of here? <laughs> <laughs> Usually they eat mice, fruits and vegetables, birds, bird eggs, things like that. Is this full grown? No, he'll get bigger than this. How big? Um, it depends on, we'll see maybe probably another two, three feet for this guy. Small. Max is usually the maximum size you see for them. Uh -huh. But if you look at his claws, you see those huge claws he has? Oh, yeah. Those claws allow him to dig. Uh, these guys are really, really smart animals. Yeah. We think of lizards as being dumb. Uh, they're actually very intelligent. They dig oh. holes is in termite mounds. Is that where they live, they live in holes? Or what? Uh, yeah, these guys can burrow. Uh, they're on the rainforest floor moving through. What about his, his coloring, all these speckles? Is there a reason? Because, you know, with camouflage and things, sometimes yep. with these animals, you, that's where your brain goes first. Yeah, they have good camouflage. If you see these guys out in the wild, they're actually pretty tough to pick up. You wouldn't yeah. think uh, black and white is hard, uh -huh. but if he's hiding in you know, grasses and dirt and mulch, he's going to be able to hide himself. Does he have well. any other defense mechanisms? They have sharp teeth. Uh, so he'll, <laughs> he'll, he'll bite. He bites, and they have really strong jaw pressure. Yeah. So when they bite, they no, don't let go. Jaw muscles and, uh, look. Oh really, yeah, you can see. Yeah, they're, they're very, very, very powerful. Wildlife animals. encounters. You're I'm out in Gretna. Right you're out in Gretna, but you don't. Uh, can people just? You don't want to just show up to pet the kookaburra. Do you? No. you don't want people showing up to your place, or can, they just do outreach programs. We're actually trying yeah. to work towards something where people can come out to yeah. teach kids so about don't, yeah, animals don't and things like that. Show up, uh, thinking you're gonna pet. But where do you go? You go to schools. Schools, libraries, summer camps, whole anything where people. Want to learn about animals. We, Why we do you do. care so much about education, Kip? 
Uh, I think it's really important for kids. Well, kids already have an interest in animals. We see it every day. Kids already have a huge passion for learning about animals. Mm -hmm. If we can keep encouraging that, those are going to be our next biologist and marine biologist. Are really, really yeah. important for us to These have. A lot of good stuff. These animals are dying off in the wild. Our oceans are depleting. Our coral reefs are dying off, and it's going to affect us humans really, really bad. Yeah. Uh, it just hasn't hit us yet. Yep. So it will come yep. around. Thanks thank for coming. You. Yeah. Thanks for having Hopefully us. Hopefully, our, Kip, our viewers you. can see Walter again maybe a little bit later in the show. Or do you guys got to take well, off? They gotta uh, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. We'll see. My I just, want, I just want Walter to come back. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for having us, guys. So thanks, guys. he is one of the most recognizable.